A while back, I wanted to transform my cluttered basement into a fun play place for the kids. I built some shelves and some cabinets, but the crown jewel of my project is my DIY projector screen. In this video, I'll show you how I made it and how my whole setup saved me a ton of money. So stick around. So this is my cluttered basement before I did the work to build cabinets and also my projector screen. And this is what it looks like after. Now when I set out to do this project, there's really only one place that the projector can be. But because there's no plug, the first thing I needed to do was to add an outlet. Adding an outlet like this is really simple to do but if you don't feel comfortable, you can always enlist the help of a friend or an electrician. Now I do plan on putting out a video to show the easiest way to wire an outlet, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how to get that done. Now to hold the projector in place, I'm using this ceiling mount. It works really well. It was easy to install and easy to adjust, and I'll add a link in the description if you wanna check it out yourself. For the next step, I projected onto the wall and made changes to the settings to get the screen to the optimal size and shape. From there, I used that projection as my guide to frame it out. After making sure that everything is level and square, I cut miters in the trim and add them to the wall using brad nails. Construction adhesive is also a good option here as well. For the frame around the projector, I'm using door trim. It's a really simple trim, it's not terribly expensive, and it really works well for something like this. One of the challenges that I had in installing the trim was that the trim pieces weren't quite long enough, so I had to cut off a few smaller pieces to finish it. And in order to make it look seamless, I cut the seam at a 45 degree angle and added some joint compound to both sides before putting it up. Once it dried, I sanded it down to match the rest, and after painting, you'd never know that there was a seam there. To paint the screen, I use ceiling paint. Ceiling paint is great to use because it has a flat finish and that makes for a good non-reflective projector surface. They do make special non-reflective projector paint, but that stuff is three times more expensive and so cheap ceiling paint works for me. The one problem with flat paint like this though is that it shows the kids grubby handprints. And so if you've got kids like mine and you can't have nice things, be sure to save some paint for later touch-ups. Once the center is painted with a couple coats, I'll paint the trim with a trim paint. And then once everything else is set up, it looks fantastic. So there's still a few other things that I needed to do in order to finish the project. First, I needed to connect the sound bar. For that, I just pulled wires behind the wall and used a low voltage cable access plate to pull the HDMI and power cords through. Because the sound bar just sits on top of the cabinet that I built, it's really easy to get to and the cords really aren't noticeable. Lastly, I had to solve for one of the biggest challenges of all, and that was how to get the signal from the equipment in the cabinet all the way to the projector in the back of the room. The best way to do that would be to pull wires through the wall and then through the ceiling. But my problem is that this basement has a drop ceiling that was installed before I moved in and it couldn't be removed without destroying it. And because I was not in the mood to refinish an entire ceiling, I needed to figure something else out. What I discovered is that they make these HDMI signal transmitters that can be used to transmit the signal from the equipment and receive it at the projector wirelessly. It was a bit expensive to buy, but totally worth it. I'll also leave a link in the description for the one that I used in case you wanna check that out. So with the transmitter and receiver set up, I've got the projector set up, I've got the sound bar, I've got the picture, everything's connected to the devices in the cabinet that I made, and this room is finished. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great DIY and home improvement ideas. Be sure to also check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.